All right, so basically, this is kind of an idea that I haven't really written down. It's been more like I've been planning on it because mostly it's 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 spawned out of something I'm angry about, and this is my response to it. Uh, yeah, this is the first time I've had a fan fiction that was spawned out of anger and me just writing about it. I know it's really weird. So yeah, um, yeah, you can see from this t from the title, Dipper Pines. The Unstoppable Hulk. Yeah, in this universe, Dipper's a Hulk. Um, now, the big thing is that this actually takes place after the events of Civil War II. You know, that terrible event that's still going on, which I don't know why. Um, yeah, so, the story, like I said, kind of spawned... The idea just spawned out of my head after, you know, my a after what happened in Civil War Number 3, and what continues to stupidly happen in Civil, in Civil War II altogether, which I should just call, you know ultimatum to at this point. Look, if you like Civil War 2, that's totally fine. Um, no, pro I got no problem with you. Me, personally, I just really hate this event. Like, I haven't hated an event this... Like, I haven't hated an event this much since... Hmm... Like, I, I haven't felt vehemently angry since Ultimatum. Yeah. Other events just bore me. Well, yeah, the f a few events bore me. Other times it's just, I don't care. But now, boom, I found something I I care nothing for. Anyway, so, yeah, this story is more or less of Dipper becoming his own Hulk after the events, you know, after Hawkeye murdered Bruce Banner. Uh, well, killed him when he was about to Hulk out. So, in here, in this story, this takes place after the events of Civil War II, which, I, you know... In, he, in this universe, um, Iron Man and the other event, and other some Avengers, uh, Carol and a few others, have discovered that there is a possible Hulk sighting um, in nor in the Northwest, preferably, of course, Gravity Falls, Oregon. So they go to investigate. However, the people of Gravity Falls are just not happy with seeing a, you know superheroes there because yeah, where were the superheroes when Weird Mageddon happened? You know. I know, yeah, it was in its own universe, but for the sake of argument, since they're in the Marvel universe, they're like, yeah, we had problems. We dealt it without it without superpowers. We we beat a a omnipotent demon without superpowers. And what have superpowers done lately? You know, the last time, you know, you guys have fought. You guys brought the, you know, you guys shot the Hulk into space. He came back, wrecked shit. We had a Skrull invasion. It's all your fault. All your fault. So we don't like you here. However. The other reason is because they're protecting Dipper, who is a Hulk at this point. He is the quote-unquote guardian of Gravity Falls. Now, this actually takes place after the after you know season two of Gravity Falls, the official end. And in here, um, during his time, Dipper's of course thirteen. You know, he's it's thir he's thirteen years old. Um, in its next summer, and he's close to fourteen. But in here, Dipper is now, you know, he's a Hulk. He's probably the youngest Hulk. <laughs> I mean, Amadeus Cho was, what, 15 when he became a Hulk? I want to say 15, 16. It could be wrong. But I digress. So, in here, he's become a Hulk during his time, not in Gravity Falls. So he didn't become a Hulk in Gravity Falls. He became a Hulk back in, Cal in Piedmont, California. What happened was, is that after the death of Bruce Banner... Uh, Bruce's remain some of Bruce's remains were desecrated by Hydra, who wanted to have their own Hulk trooper. And rather than go through the chore of using Hydra agents to Hulk out, they decided, you know what? Let's make this a little easier. Let's kidnap kids and, you know, experiment on them. Both Mabel and Dipper were basically dragged out of their homes one night and spent weeks in a height in a undisclosed Hydra location just being experimented on constantly through gamma, you know, through gamma radiation and some of Bruce Banner's DNA, and even you know the remains of Emil Blonsky were used. Of course, the ab ab I mean the abomination, and yeah, didn't go so well. So um, Mabel was never found. Mabel was never found. She went. She is still under the assumption that you know um, she's still under Hydra's uh, hold. But when Dipper finally hulked out, oh, he hulked out bad, and. He, you know, his parent, you know, he had to tell his parents, look, I'm this monster now. I need some place I can hide, you know, I can lay low and not have these super, you know, Hydra or anyone else come after me. So they sent him back to Gravity Falls. 
and yeah, he's become their, you know, he told everyone, just right out the gate, hey guys, I'm a Hulk now, so hope that's no problem. And everyone loves him, everyone, like, I wanted to have it that rather than be like this monster in the shadows with Gravity Falls, everyone in Gravity Falls is like, oh yeah, you're a Hulk now, awesome, you can fight the monsters, and that's what he, that's what he's been doing, is that whenever Dipper hulks out, he goes out, fights monsters that are trout, or, you know, whatever's left of the hench maniacs that stayed behind after what, Weird Mageddon, he goes out, smashes them, and, you know, quintessentially has just been left alone. He's their, he's their protector now. And throughout the story, it basically follows with, um, with Hulk, I mean, with, with Dipper's Hulk, is that he's been doing fine. He's been doing fine. He hasn't really had a big problem. And that's until the heroes show up, because every time they want to make things better, they make it worse. It's Tony, it's the, sometimes the Avengers have this horrible knack of making things worse when they're trying to make things better. Isn't that right, AVX? Anyway. Um, so yeah. Um, throughout the story, yeah, Dipper's now in a relationship with Lindy, he's fine, you know, he's having a good time. Um, but he's still, you know, of course, he, he misses his sister. He can't find her. And he kind of takes his rage out on the monsters he fights. And he still thinks, I lost I lost Mabel, I still got Wendy, I still got Stan, I still got Ford, I still got Seuss, and God help you if you hurt them. Guess what these? Uh, guess what the superheroes try to do? They try to, t S.H.I.E.L.D. and the other heroes try to take him in for questioning. <laughs> that didn't go so well. That doesn't go so well. So, so, Anyway, let's talk about Dipper's Hulk. Now, Dipper's Hulk, in his Hulk form, he's much different from Banner's Hulk. But he still has some... He's same, but he's he has a few tweaks here and there. He's not... He's he's very much like the Hulk, uh, like Banner's Hulk, but at the same time, he's... He has a few differences that set him apart. And, yeah, his, his appearance, I kind of had it in my head that um, Dipper's Hulk is... Very, is uh, like a grayish green. He's like a grayish green, something like almost like Ultimate Hulk, except he doesn't eat people. Um, Dipper's Hulk also is um, is also savage. He's also a savage Hulk, but he's, he goes like Hulk smash. He's not an intelligent Hulk. Um, he's also uh, there's also another thing. He has two ways of of transforming back into his into into his human self. The first form is pretty simple. Just get him to calm down. And usually how I thought about how they get him to calm down is basically they get him to calm down by uh, by singing the Lammy Lammy song. They get, you know, Dipper, or, excuse me, um, Seuss or Wendy sings him the Lammy Lammy song and it gets, Hulk, it gets Hulk to turn back into Dipper after he calms down. The other form is a little more violent. <laughs> See, like, um, like Banner's Hulk... Dipper's Hulk can actually get stronger. I had it in my head that he can get stronger the matter he gets. However, there's a limit. If he gets too mad and too strong, his body builds up. His body, the radiate, the gamma radiation in his body builds up until it can't contain it anymore, and he literally becomes a gamma bomb. He literally just blows the a, a, like a mile wide radius of nothing but irra but an irradiated crater. Like a whole mile is just gone, and he tries not to do that. He tries not to go that uh, that form that route of uh, of transforming back. He doesn't want to do that because, yeah, he turns into a bomb, blow, a mile of just total devastation, and he transforms back. The other thing is that when Dipper became a Hulk, he now has the ability to become. He's now immune to radiation. He's immune to all forms of radiation. So <laughs> he can just literally go into a re nuclear reactor without any harm to him. He can, you know, he can actually absorb it into himself and add it to the Hulk's strength. Hulk, this Hulk is also, um, like I said, not very bright, but he's a, he's kind of like a gentle giant, and except when you piss him off, then, then, uh, <laughs> you're, you're in for a bad time. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was kind of the thing. Like I said, this was, this idea I had was spawned out of, um, was more or less spawned out of my, just, total disgust with Civil War 2. Again, if you like it, that's totally fine. But yeah, with Civil War 2, um, this was kind of spawned out of it, because I wanted to have this scene where Dipper just grills Tony about it. Like, he just says, Oh! Oh, you were friends with Bruce Banner? Fuck you. Fuck you. You were no friend of Banner. You shot him off into space. You had a chance to cure him. I'm pretty sure if you applied yourself, we'd had a cure for cancer. You, Reed Richards, 
every one of you guys in tights. You claim to be so smart, still got cancer going on. We still got, you know, so many e ecological problem. you know, ecological problems. You know, have, how's that ozone doing? Have you fixed that yet, Mr. Stark? Oh, no, you're busy, you know, putting on the armor. That's totally fine. <sighs> you piece of shit. So, yeah, he would just totally shit on Tony and everyone, and even Carol, um, for both starting this war. And I'd have it that Dipper and Mabel... When they, you know, when the growing up, you know, they were, um, they would see on the news the events of Civil War. Like, they would, they saw the events of the first Civil War. They didn't understand what was going on. All they knew was that the heroes were fighting in here, and in their heads, because obviously Civil War happened several years ago, so they're very, they would be very young. So they would watch and go, why are the heroes fighting each other? They're, they're not bad guys. And then, of course, uh, World War Walt, World War Hulk happens, and Dipper, I would have it that he felt very sorry for for the Hulk after Hulk announces, "Yeah, you're you know these guys shot me off into space. I didn't want to go. I have found peace. Then the ship blew up. I came back, and it's all their fault." So yeah, he felt like a connection towards the Hulk, and in a weird way, Dipper feels like he's carrying on Bruce Banner's legacy even more than Amadeus Cho or any of the other Hulks. He feels like he's the he in his own weird way. He feels like he's the true heir to Bruce Banner's legacy. So that's how it would kind of be. And also, like he, of course, Civil War happened, and the Fifty States Initiative happened, and of course that happened. And then we had Dark Reign. All of the, all of this is Dipper's growing up. He's seeing all of this, and it, like he can't understand what's going on. He cannot, uh, you know, his mind just can't fathom what exactly in the world is going on right now, and it's driving, you know, it drove him nuts growing as a kid, growing up as a kid, because why were the heroes always fighting each other? So now that he has the power of a Hulk inside of him, yeah, it was given to him through Hydra, but now that he, you know, he has the power of a Hulk, he can actually now protect those he cares, what's left of he cares about, of those he cares about, and also he can protect the town that he's become very close with, and he can just stay away from all the heroes. Fortunately, that doesn't happen because everyone wants a piece of him. Not, I would even have. I was kind of even thinking that not just Iron Man and some of the Avengers, want, you know, want to take him down. You know, Carol, Shield, um, other thing. You know, other people like even I wanted. I had this really cool image in my head of Dipper's Hulk going head to head with not just um, you know, the totally awesome Hulk, or you know, Ross's Hulk. I actually really wanted a classic uh, Hulk Wolverine fight between him and X twenty and uh, him and Laura, uh, Lara. Uh, X-23, of course, now the new Wolverine, him and her going head-to-head. -head. Um, you know, uh, stuff like that happening. So, yeah, that was, that was kind of the thing, of him encountering the other, um, the other, you know, the other characters within the Mar the new Mar the you know, the brand, the all-new, all-different Marvel Universe, and I even thought of a new abomination, you know, a new abomination for him to fight. You can probably guess the way I've been talking about this vid, um, who exactly this new abomination is probably is. Yeah, you guys can probably guess who the new abomination is at this point. So I don't, th <laughs> I don't think I need to say who would probably be who. You can probably guess who the new who this new abomination is in this story. But again, there wasn't really much there, and it's just mostly me getting angry about Civil War Two and how just just not good, just how just how much I just dislike it so yeah, this is the first, like I said, this is the first time I've had a fan fiction where I've kind of let my anger towards an event spawn something to cross it over with something I really enjoy <laughs> yeah and yeah, in a weird way Dipper being a Hulk kind of really makes sense because he always want, he always envisions, envisioned himself, you know growing up, you know, being all this big manly character and the Hulk really embodies that. And in truth, the Hulk is supposed to, it's supposed to be a Jekyll and Hyde persona. And I feel like in, especially with cases of like uh, Amadeus Cho and um, a few other places, not Banner himself, but the, all these other new Hulks that we've seen doesn't really embody the whole Jekyll Hyde persona. Uh, persona. But with the difference is that Dipper is a little more, he's okay with being the Hulk. Because now, as a Hulk, he feels free, but he has to keep that freedom in check. Because, yeah, just like Banner's Hulk, he could easily just flip his shit and kill someone. You know, someone close to him. So, yeah. So, <laughs> that's kind of the fan fiction, guys. That's, um, that's it on a whole. Just something I was kind of had rattling around in my head. I don't know if I'll ever write it or not, but yeah. Anyway... So you guys tell me, what do you guys think of Dipper Pines, the Unstoppable Hulk? Um, do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this. 
and I will see you guys later.